Hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel of Samantha. Thank you so much for joining me. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you another experiment that I did on my hair. So this is something that I've seen quite a few people do. And I thought, you know what, let me give it a go. See how my hair reacts to it and share that experience with you so that you can decide whether or not you'd like to try it yourself. But before we even get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and also ring the notification bell. So the experiment I'm talking about today is actually mixing um, an oil into my deep conditioner. So this is supposed to make it um, basically more nourishing and also add slip. So I'm choosing to use this deep conditioner or hair mask by Shea Moisture. It is the intensive hydration mask um, with Manuka honey and Mafura oil um, by Shea Moisture, which I really love, but you can use any. And uh, for the oil, I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil. My hair loves it and it's really nourishing and softening and um, you know has all of those good things. So um, what I did was I just took some of the mask, uh, an amount that I thought would be enough for my hair. Um, so you see, I didn't use all of it. And then um, I added um, some of the oil. So I wasn't quite sure how much to add. So I just kind of thought, you know what, my hair usually responds well to a couple of tablespoons. So I added two tablespoons. Obviously, if you've got a lot more hair than I do, um, then you need more of the mask or deep conditioner and more of the oil. So what I then did was just mix both of those things thoroughly together. Um, I didn't blend it or anything. I just mixed it really well with a spoon um, just to make sure that, you know, um, it was uh, thoroughly mixed. And what I noticed was that the deep conditioner or the mask became much looser. And I thought, well, this is a good sign because it means that it's going to be much easier to apply to the hair. So, yeah, I was loving this already and I was really looking forward to um, applying it. So I guess if you wanted even looser or thinner, you could add more oil. You know, it's really up to you. There's no recipe for this. It's really just um, you making a decision in terms of, you know, how much of the deep conditioner you want and how much oil you want and just mixing it up. So since this is a deep conditioning treatment, I applied it to freshly washed hair. So it does help to apply deep conditioning treatments to freshly washed hair or clean hair because that means you've removed um, any product um, and dirt which could interfere with the performance of your deep conditioning treatment. So what I found was that applying the mask or this treatment was a breeze. It was so easy um, because mixing that super thick mask with the oil really loosened it up and it was, you know, the slip was, was amazing, I have to say. So I made sure that I parted my hair just to make sure that um, each and every strand was coated and I would recommend you do that, you know, as your hair gets longer and thicker, you do have to um, change your tactics to make sure that you don't miss any parts. Um, so yeah, already I was getting the green lights to say, you know, this is a really good process. Um, the other thing as well that I discovered was that actually it was much easier to emulsify. So you see, it was easily um, emulsified and again that helped with the um, application process to make the application um, much smoother and much quicker and therefore I would say much more effective. Normally if I'm applying a really thick mask or deep conditioner I have to leave my hair soaking wet um, but because I had mixed this with oil I didn't actually need to do that and I actually um, made sure that I had removed most of the water because you know what water and oil don't mix so um, I didn't want this to be sliding off my hair so I actually just um, towel dried it to make sure that the mask would stick to my hair and oh it felt really really good so um, I'm just going to finish uh, applying through my hair and then once I've done that I'll come back and explain the next steps
So once I'd applied it all over my hair, I covered my hair with a plastic bag just to generate some indirect heat, which will help um, improve the performance of the treatment mask. And um, I just left it on for 30 minutes and this is what my hair looked like afterwards. And um, when it comes to how it felt, it felt in incredible it was buttery soft honestly you know i still feel the warmth from um, the plastic bag but i i knew immediately that my hair was going to feel soft that this little combination this experiment was really really worth it um so yeah i guess if i had to use the heating cap then maybe you know some of it might have been absorbed a bit more but you know what it didn't matter my hair really got the benefit of this treatment mask um you know we don't always expect these treatments to be completely absorbed and disappear so yeah i know it looks like it's just sitting on my hair but you know i, I felt my hair you know, it did benefit from this and it had really been softened and um, I rinsed it off. It was easy to rinse off. And afterwards, my hair felt so soft, incredibly soft. I really, really loved the way my hair felt. Um, but because this was straight out of the shower, I decided just to dry it off with a t-shirt to remove all the excess water um, because that's the real test, isn't it? To see whether or not something has really softened your hair because wet hair is always going to feel you know, kind of soft. So after drying it off, oh, wow. Yeah. It was still soft. It was still silky. It was still smooth. So am I going to try this again? Absolutely. I'm going to definitely put this on, um, on the schedule because it really worked for me. So in terms of the types of deep conditioners that, um, I would suggest to use, I would go with the moisturizing deep conditioners. And in terms of the oil, any, um, penetrating oil will do you know, so you don't have to use extra virgin olive oil. You can use any penetrating oil. And if you want um, a list of good penetrating oils, I do have a video which I've linked in the description box below. So um, I would love to know if you've ever done anything like this before and what's, you know, your experience was. Do you share your experience? Because, you know, a lot of people come to the comments to see um, what others are saying before they go, go and decide, even if they've watched my results and see that, yeah, it works you know um you know a lot of people like to hear from mothers so i would appreciate it if you comment and let, let us know if you've tried this and what what your thoughts were um as for me it definitely worked i loved it uh, my hair loved it and uh, yes i'll definitely be um doing this again so yeah look at that soft 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 wow fantastic so in terms of my recommendations, um, for the deep conditioner, I would recommend any moisturizing deep conditioner. Um, I would stay away from a protein treatment or strengthening treatments. I don't think it'd work for this experiment. Um, and as for the oil, it doesn't have to be extra virgin olive oil. Any penetrating oil will do. And if you're not sure which oils are penetrating, I do have a video on that. And I've put a link to that video in the description box below. So um, I will have another video for you real soon. But before I go, um, as always, I would like to thank my amazing subscribers because you love and support are really helping this channel to grow. If you're watching the video and you have not yet subscribed, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to like the video comment and also to share the video on your socials um, and also through WhatsApp. So I'll see you real soon, my lovelies. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones and God bless. Bye for now.